We are going to create this effect using Duic. Let's start by creating a rectangle. Just create a nice rectangle like that. All right, so once we have our rectangle, let's center it on the screen. All right, now we have it. Now go to Duic and click on, click, no, actually click on the, uh, the puppet tool. Do one at the the end, the middle, and then the other end. And once you have those, let's go down into the effects, toggle down, or uh, let's let's name these. So we'll just name this the top, mid, and bottom. Once you have all three, highlight all three, and then go to bones. Once you have your bones, start with the top and then pick clip it to the mid, pick clip the mid to the bottom. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add our motion. And so we're going to add motion to the top, the mid and the bottom. So press R and go to the rotation. And let's set the rotation to, let's say, negative 10. And then let's go up, let's see, a second. So Hold down Command and Shift. One, two, three. That's more than a second, but let's just go to a second. Let's go to ten, and then let's go. I'm gonna make this whole thing a second. So let's see twenty-four frames. So it'll be twelve is the exact middle, and then let's go to a second, and let's copy and paste the first keyframe. And then um, I just pressed N on the timeline. And then if I preview that, that's kind of our animation. What I want to do is I want to add some easing. So select all and then press F9. And then I'm going to add a little bit more easing. And so I have this dojo ease that kind of makes it easy. I'm going to add 77% to all of this. And so you see it goes like that. We'll just keep it at 77%. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to move up in the timeline by pressing Command and then the right arrow. One, two, three, just three. And then I'm going to paste those to this one. And then what you see is there's just kind of like a little overlap effect like that. 